Hey everyone, I'm finally bringing you all along a day in my life in my new job as a product data scientist in Sydney. I have so much to update you all on. Some of you might know that I left my remote role in growth marketing this April after two and a half years. My new role is still within tech and it's hybrid, so I'm in the office three days a week, which is exactly what I wanted. In today's video, I'll walk you through what a typical day looks like for me and what I actually get up to, my tech stack, my key stakeholders, the types of meetings I have, and the projects that I'm currently working on. My day-to-day -day is still very much data-focused, analyzing user behavior, helping teams make better data-driven decisions, building out predictive models and dashboards, but since I'm joining at a lead level, I'm also spending more time upstream and defining metrics, product strategy, and partnering closely with my key stakeholders. One of the biggest changes in my new role is how many more meetings I have during the week. Now, I sit across two product teams, so I'm part of both of their daily triad updates, which usually include a product manager, engineer, designer, and someone from data. I don't join these meetings every day, but I do like to sit in on the Monday ones to get a feel for what the team is focused on for the week. I usually have no meetings for the next hour, and here I'm getting some deep work done. Today, I'm including some more metrics to a dashboard so that my product manager can better see the impact of the changes we rolled out over the weekend. At 11 a.m., I have my data team stand up, which is great for syncing up across projects, dependencies, or just to share event about stakeholders. We work in fortnightly sprints, and today happened to be a sprint planning session that was moved from the previous week. Now, this is where we scope out what we'll be working on over the next two weeks and assign all our JIRA tickets. Now, I often get asked, what does a product data scientist actually do? And to be very honest, I wasn't sure either, but now I feel like after being in this role for two months, I can give you a better summary. In short, I would say that I help product managers make smarter data-driven decisions. Now think of any button or feature in an app. A product manager is usually behind it, asking questions like, is this feature solving the right problem? How are users interacting with it? Where are they dropping off? My job is to answer these questions using data, whether it's improving funnels, running experiments and A-B tests, or building segmentation or propensity models to understand our different types of users. It is a super collaborative role that blends strategic product thinking and data science, or in the hopes of improving the user experience. I hope that little ramble made sense. Let me know down in the comments below what you do for work, I would love to know. Unfortunately, I have a lunch sync up with my colleague on some key metrics that we need to get aligned on before middle of the week. My company thankfully provides free lunch on days that we go in, so I'm heading to the kitchen to pick up my lunch and a drink before returning back to my meeting room to continue our sparring session. Lunch time. I am so hungry. We are basically aligning on our product team's OKR definitions and finalizing a dashboard and a narrative that we can present back to our execs. With my morning meetings finally done, I head back to my desk for another block of focus time. I am in desperate need of caffeine, so as I make my oat latte, let's talk about my tech stack. I mostly work with BigQuery and Looker, which are both new to me actually, so it's taken some time to get used to. I also use Python via Jupyter Notebooks within Cursor for any machine learning work and dbt to transform and clean all my data. Now, this is when I would usually like to get in a lunch walk and some fresh air, but I have a lot of work that I have to get done today. I am upskilling in Looker by updating some of the Look ML code to add in additional product metrics into our dashboard. It's crazy how much my Looker skills have increased over the past two months, and there really is no better way to learn than just jump in and practice. I'm also taking a quick moment to approve a PR for one of our models for our Looker semantic layer before jumping into a quick five minute sync up with my colleague to walk through the changes that we are making. Now you might be thinking, wow, this sounds like an awful amount of product analytics work, but don't worry, there is data science as well in my job. Right now we are kicking off a user segmentation project where we're trying to group users based on their behavioral signals so we can offer them a more personalized experience within our product. Second last meeting of the day. This afternoon, I had an alignment session with my manager and the co-worker that I'll be working on this project with to clarify the objectives, map out the key stakeholders, as well as an initial project plan. It's still early days, but I'm very excited for the impact this project is going to make. I'm doing some preparation for my final meeting of the day, a meeting with our chief of staff to align on some new reporting standards for a key product funnel. 
If you're not familiar with funnels, they're just a way to track how users move through a series of steps in an inverted triangle, like signing up, watching a video, and then clicking a button. For example, a funnel for a company like Uber might look like a user opening the app, searching for a ride, requesting it, completing a trip, and then leaving a review. Tracking how many users drop off at each step really helps the product team identify where the experience needs improvement. <sighs> 4.38 and I am finally done with all of my meetings for today. Super, super productive day and built out a good amount of my dashboards and gonna have one more hour of focus time before I head off home. Bye-bye. I'm spending the last hour of the day incorporating some feedback into our reporting. I need to whip up some SQL in BigQuery since not everything we need is available in Looker just yet. Not gonna lie, it's a little hectic to sanity check the numbers so last minute, but I'm pushing through. I'm also adding in a quick narrative summary and highlighting some cells so that stakeholders can easily understand what's changed and why it matters for them. At this point, I am honestly starving, grabbing a quick protein yogurt with some almond butter as a snack and trying to make the healthy choice since I've got dinner plans right after. One final call at 5.30, I'm doing some light data contracting for a startup and then I'm finally logging off for the day. Well, I've still got a couple minutes left of this video, so let me just ramble on a little bit more about how I've been feeling in this new role. Honestly, the last two months have flown by. I didn't realize how much switching from fully remote to hybrid would take me getting used to, but honestly, it's been really good for my productivity and just onboarding. It's definitely a lot more fast paced, but I'm enjoying the challenge and the chance to make a real impact. I also forgot how long it takes to build up your reputation again and earn trust with your key stakeholders, although I do feel like this is coming around slowly. The team has been super supportive, which makes a really big difference, and the work is challenging in a different way than what I've done before. It's really helping me grow and round out my resume as a data scientist. Now it's 6pm and I'm finally heading off, only after taking a few snacks for the road. I'm off to dinner to celebrate my partner's birthday, happy hour and pasta, two of my favourite things. I'd love to hear down in the comments if you enjoyed this kind of day in the life video and what other work stuff you would like me to share. I'm definitely still getting used to filming around the office. It does feel a bit weird sometimes, but hey, nobody's looking and we're getting there. And I do enjoy sharing this journey with you all. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. My next video will be about my different streams of income as a data scientist. So if you're curious about that, make sure you don't miss it. In other life updates, we got a puppy and her name is Bella. Just look at how cute she is. That's all that I have for today's video and I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye. Bella, say bye to the camera.